remember maybe it was about a year ago and we made a video about a wood-fired hot tub and it was a failure. It didn't work. It did not get warm. We tried doing a rocket stove and uh, it just didn't heat, heat it up fast enough. So we are super excited to be working on this project again this weekend. We decided to take a break from the house because we found a wood-fired hot tub heater called a chofu. Called a chofu. Japanese setup. You might have seen it on other off-grid channels, but it basically, it has a tank, doesn't it? I think it has a tank next to the fire, and then it thermosiphons the water as it heats up, and then you can also drain out the pipes so that they don't freeze in the winter. Um, so we found this. They are sold in the U.S., but because of the state of the world right now, you're not able to ship them to Canada. And Greg had a bright idea to look on buy and sell. And we found one for yep. quite a bit cheaper. So uh, Greg is setting that up. It's maybe 2 p.m. now. So if we get it started now, we can probably have a hot tub tonight. Ooh. But there's quite a bit of work to be done. Just kidding, that's a stump. This summer we had a pretty scary moment where lighting a fire was a really serious possibility. So I bought myself this beautiful fire pump and this thing is going to come in handy for lots of different stuff. Um, like filling a hot tub and cleaning it out. So I have about 100, 100 gallons left in this IBC tank here. And uh, I'm going to use this to blast out the inside, clean out the hot tub. And then, um, yeah, then we're going to take water from our cistern to fill the hot tub. Let's get funky with it. So I've just rearranged the rocks that we had stacked around the rocket stove before. Um, not really for any reason, I just thought it would look nicer if I placed the rocks, you know, try and pretty it up a little bit. 
um, but I think it looks pretty good. I'm sure it'll be okay. Okay. We just so happened to have a huge stump that is, was probably just going to end up in the fire one day and uh, it's the perfect size to use as a step. So Greg also brought these pallets from work um, and he's waiting with a chainsaw so I'm going to stop talking <laughs> and show you. Oh, get out of here, Judy. You were off. Let's get this fire going. Yeah, leave that for now. Hold on, Dwee Bear. Get that stick. Get it! <laughs> yeah, get it, boy. When you're using it, you can just close it like this. Is a, this is a level up, off grid level up. <laughs> what level are we on now? Six. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> How many levels in the game, Katie? Though. I don't know. Nobody does. But we all trying to reach the end. <sighs> I 
I don't know. I think that's homemade. I don't know. Cut off that line. Anything happening yet? Just floaties. That is the warm water coming out. Which means it's working. So, so far so good. Good news, the hot tub worked out. We went in last night, I think it took three and a half hours for it to get warm enough. And then we were in there for maybe half an hour or whatever. And it was already like continuing to warm up. So nice. It's not warm outside. <laughs> so we thought, and it stayed warm overnight. Greg loaded up the fire before he came in. And- it's about 39 degrees. And now it's at 39 degrees, so we're gonna have our coffee in the hot tub this morning. Yay! <laughs> My back doesn't hurt today. It's really nice. I think we're gonna wrap up the video here. We're gonna carry on with the house. We've got a lot to do and yesterday was a bit of a it was productive we but it wasn't it wasn't focused on the house. So yeah. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up and uh, let us know down below where you're watching from and we'll catch you in the next video. Bye.